All right. Good, very early morning in the Eastern Coast, everyone. This is Eric, a.k.a. Justice Blinded. Coming to you with a very special and highly caffeinated early morning edition of Archon's Corner. Uh, we are rebroadcasting the lovely feed that they, that Crazy Killing Machine is um, is doing live of the Vault Tour in Poland. And this is currently occurring, I believe it's in Krakow, Poland. This is the final day of the tournament. This is the Top 16 Archon event. This is a battle for a title. Um, we are in the top 16 right now. There were exactly 16 players that made day two. The match we're about to see in top 16 is uh, Constantine Ritalis and Romain Mallet or Malliert um, on Zeta Drive and Overwhelming Leaf. Just real briefly, um, I'll drop the links in chat. Here is Zeta Drive. You can see the deck right here. We'll talk a little bit more about it as we go. And then, oops, sorry. And here is Overwhelming Leaf. And we're going to talk about it as we go. And we're going to get these two decks up on the screen. And I'm going to launch off with some some action here and like I said it is 4 30 a.m. on the eastern coast of the United States which is where I'm in the eastern time zone um, that's where I'm based so I will do my best to remain caffeinated and awake and give you good commentary but we are we are live right now and this will be rebroadcast later and so we're going to start out here by remain a Roman uh, playing a life ward and passing back to Constantine now they, there are, like I said, 16 finalists in today's event. They all finished 5-1 or one, five, one or better yesterday. And these finalists are all competing in a single elimination um, tournament to determine a Vault Tour Archon champion in Poland. So Konstantinos is playing Igor. He filtered to get to Cutthroat Research, which he did played for the Amber, it looked like, and then he played Lab Work. I'm going to turn on some of the background okay, noise one. here. Um, and I guess if you could tell me, anyone who's watching can tell me in chat if it's too much noise. Um, but I'm turning on the background noise because you can hear the players talking at the event. So meanwhile... Plays bait and switch, nerve blast, special delivery. So both players positioning early. And no one has any creatures on the board yet. They was an Igor very briefly, but it is gone. So they're in a large convention hall in Poland, and occasionally there's going to be some PA announcements that I'll probably mute the stream for, um, just so we can hear me talking better. Konstantinos is uh, exhuming a helper bot to play a ganger chieftain to ready his disc creature, which is a really neat combo. The exhum... Exhum combos in this deck are quite good. He's also going to play Not Finished With You and pull Igor, shuffle Igor back into deck. So there's a lot of, um, at least a fair amount of house cheating in Constantino's deck. Constantino, so far as I can recall, I'm going to look this up right now just to confirm, but so far as I can recall, Constantino's, yes, he was the number one overall seed in the tournament. He went 6-0, one, one of only two individuals to go 6-0 in the tournament. 
and um, this deck and his play are the reasons why. I mean, he is obviously playing very well, but this deck particular, um, this deck particularly is good. Um, okay, when you're saying sounds good right there, do you mean without the without the the audio in the in the hall, Wookie? Meanwhile, Constantinos is sitting on three embers, pass back. Um, and Remain is going to make use of his hand of dis and kill Constantinos' dis creature. He's then going to sacrifice special delivery to, um, to pile in. Oh, all right. So we're going to turn the hall audio back on. We've tried to keep the hall audio to a minimum... Uh, but it is helpful to hear the players talking. And, uh, plays Hysteria, and Romain plays, or sacks the Life Ward, which is going to prevent Constantinos from playing the creatures that are put back in hand or that he has in hand. Romain passes back at four, and Constantinos has to figure out what he wants to do in terms of a plan. And Constantinos is sitting here, thinking about what he wants to do. He has an option of, you know, discarding a couple different cards. He can play Logos. Looks like he has two actions in hand. I think that's either lab work or sloppy lab work. So he's going to draw a card. I think he's got sloppy lab work there. Yes, and so he's playing Sloppy Lab Work to, uh, to filter through his hand. He's going to archive Sound the Horns and Brobnar and discard Binding Irons, which is a real feels-bad moment, but he's trying to craft a hand for future turns. Binding Irons is a super good card, especially early in the game, so it's a surprise on some levels to see him discard that there, but... He's choosing to craft a, a board next turn, probably with Brobnar, I would imagine, unless he uses Logos and Cheats. Meanwhile, Remain is is playing Shadows. Dropped out a Silvertooth, a Dodger, a Skeleton Key, and pass back. Okay, so he is going back to Logos. I think he's gonna he's gonna house. I can't tell what he else did. He's playing Phil of the Researcher, which allows him to draw a card for any um, draw a card when a creature is played next to her. He's playing in Tropic Swirl, which is gonna deal four damage to Dodger and give him two Amber, so puts him in check currently. And he's playing Sloppy Lab Work again. I couldn't see what he archived there. He looks like he archived a Brobner card. A discard Tiding Mechanic. Now, that is a very interesting play. Obviously, um, well, I suppose it's only kind of interesting because... The, I the idea is that playing the Titan Mechanic would... would basically put Remain in check and allow him to forge a key at five. So, you know, it, it might look weird at first glance to be discarding a creature of the house that you're playing, but he chose not to play it there in order not to give Remain an instant key, which is uh, probably a good play. Meanwhile, we're doing Mars over here on the other side. We have a Dominator. Uh, the house cheating Mars creature that allows him to use Dodger to fight in, to steal one from by fighting Fila. And that's it, and they're going to pass back. And 
I think he put a jammer pack on the Dominator. Yep, that looks like that's what it is, which is the reason why Konstantinos is not forging currently here. Here is the expected Brobnar turn, pulling up the Brobnar cards for the Archive. Jammer pack is out, that's correct. So Garganti's Scrapper is played, getting him to draw a card, and here comes Grump Buggy. Okay, now is when we start seeing some crazy costs for keys. So Constantinos is going to be playing a, lot, a fair amount of Robinar cards here. Plays a Gauntlet of Command. It looks like he's got at least... He's got... Uh, oh, he's got the Ganger Knot combo in hand. He's got Ganger Chieftain and Drummer Knot in hand and an extra Ganger Chieftain. And now he's thinking to himself, how do I arrange this so I can get rid of the Dominator so I can start doing crazy nonsense reaps with the Ganger Chieftain. <laughs> Anytime your opponent brings out an indicator to, to determine whether or not they're going to be following the rule of six in this game, uh, in this hand, rather, you you know you're in for a long turn. Or at least that's the impression they're creating. That's right. Technically, dice not allowed, but um, this uh, stream is being run by people who are also judging the event through Crazy Killing Machines, so They've pulled... He, well, he moved the dice to the side. You can see it in the hand camera there. So he plays a drummer knot, bouncing the chieftain. That's drummer knot one, keeping square at home. Chieftain two. So he elects there not to use the last two Ganger Chieftain activations. That is very interesting. Because that means, one, that he's leaving all these things on the board for Remain to target if Remain has a way to remove them. And two, he missed a lot of value there because he was afraid of the Dominator killing off his things. Which it would have. Um, it would have killed off some of them. So, your man is informing Constantinos that his keys currently cost 10, 2 for the jammer pack, um, so it goes to 8 from 6, and then 2 additional ones from the from the 2 grump buggy triggers on his side of the board. He plays down either spider under taunt, which is going to make Constantinos even more, even more upset that, uh, perhaps, that he didn't take out the Dominator when he had a chance. Um, so now Constantinos has a very real problem. He has to find a way to kill the Dominator, or find some other way to get to either Spider, or any of Constantinos's Amber Generation through, uh, through Brobnar. The, the Drummer Knot, Ganger Chieftain combos are not gonna work, because they depend on the opponent not having a board. And Romain has provided the antidote to that, which is the Yislix, if I'm saying that correctly, I always mispronounce that first word, the Dominator. The Dominator is on the board, and uh, Romain is looking surprisingly good in the face of seeing an active drummer nut combo uh, on the other side of the table. But this is top 16. I believe that's... I think that's Foozle? I'm not sure. Oh, Kalfine. He just was fighting him with Kalfine. So Constantinos played Kalfine, used the, used the gauntlet to have Kalfine do splash damage, and then killed off the Dominator with Drummonaut number one. 
now Konstantinos is trying to find a way he kills off right so they're right now they're trying to figure out right now they're trying to figure out where the amber should go they've made a mistake here they put the amber on the ether spider that's not where the amber should go um, I be well, actually, hold on. I believe the amber. Hold on. This is the problem with 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 how I'm streaming on three hours sleep. But for some reason, my recollection of Ether Spider. Nope, that's correct. Never mind. I apologize. Um, I thought Ether Spider for a moment was only by reaping, but it is not. It is all amber. And now Constantinos has cleared off Roman's board. And we are going to see the drummer not nonsense. That's what these these dice tokens are there to indicate how often each has been played or used in a turn. Because if they do six, six is the maximum by the rules of the game. It's called the rule of six for those of you who are not familiar. And he's maximize. He's choosing um, how many times things happen okay so Constantinos after doing all of that has left himself with it looks like three six nine probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 amber he's going to remain is going to mind barb trying to pull the ganger chieftain and he has hit an Igor instead Plays a pit demon. And arises. He's going to arise Mars. Which normally is bad. It's normally a real bad play. To arise something that's not dis. Because it takes an extra turn. But this is a bit of a unique circumstance. Because. Remain. Knows that that dominator is a real big card in this matchup and that Constantinos had to take basically like half a turn off to kill the thing Constantinos pays 7 for a key because of Pit Demon pays 7 for a key Constantinos just called Brobnar. So he knows there's a big Mars turn coming. So he has to try to maximize value before the Mars turn gets there. And then he plays Chieftain down to ready Drummer Knot and fight Drummer Knot into Pit Demon. Unfortunately, Roman is only one. And so he left Drummer not with one damage, still allowing him to incur the combo. And there's he's now counting up all the times. He's now simulating Ganger Chieftain playing the card and using Drummer not to reap and getting all the amber. Going to play Ganger Chieftain on the rat on the left just to get him on the board. Right, and he's just drawn Chieftain. He's played Chieftain on the left and got drawn a card off the field of the Researcher trigger, which also happened to be Iron Obelisk, which is just gross. And now Remain is going to try to battle back into this matchup by replaying out his entire Mars board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy, uh, 
So off the whole Mars board, the only cards that are triggering off of the buggy are the Ether Spider and the Dominator. So those are two. So R Remains keys should... Constantinos' keys, excuse me, cost eight. I think he has at least eight there. He has nine. So he will forge an eight, and he's now sitting at two keys. But Remain has rebuilt his Mars board, and Constantinos have has fewer... Uh, creatures and assets on board to deal with this uh, to deal with this particular situation. So Constantinos is faced with a decision. Constantinos is, is faced with a situation where he has to either try to make the use of the Brobnar things on board, and he has one card in hand. I can't quite tell what that card is. That's Brobnar. So he has one card in hand, or. Constantinos can switch to this, dump the rest of the his hand on the table, and um, gain a little amber in doing so, and cycle back, and hopefully draw more Brobnar things that he can use. This is the decision he's making right now. And he's chosen this, he's chosen to play out the cards in his, cards in his hand, so that he can have a better shot of a better shot of uh, having more responses other than the just the three creatures he's got on board. So he's playing Life Ward, Shuler, that's Ember Imp off screen there. And we've got a bit of lag, so apologies. This will happen a couple times. Um, there you go. Shuler, Ember Imp, Ember Imp, Tezmal. and passes the turn. So that's interesting. So Constantinos held a poltergeist in hand. Let's minimize this for just a minute and look at look at remains this is remains deck. So let's see is there anything that Constantinos would be holding a poltergeist for? Incubation chamber would be a good target. Um, evasion Sigil would probably be a good target um, because he's going to need to remove the board. So there are some good artifact targets that um, Chamber is already out. Oh, that, thank you very much. So it might be the Evasion Sigil. The Evasion Sigil, yeah. Evasion Sigil is the biggest problem for Constantinos because he won't be able to fight into anything or would have a harder time fighting in. I believe they just asked how the remain just asked how it would work if he reaped with Bolter and there's an Ember Imp on board and the judge at the table said his initial impression was that Bolter's effect would happen before Ember Imp's effect happened. So Bolter would get to deal two damage to something. And he's now gone away from the table to confirm with another judge that that is how it works. Okay. So Remain is now being told that Bolter's effect would not be allowed to work given the Ember Imp is on the board, that the, the damage would not be dealt. And he's just decided to kill the imp. So, no problem. Right, so he's killed the imp. He's used Bolter to deal damage to Drummer Knot. That's a real big play, because that was the only Drummer Knot in Constantino's deck, if memory serves. Let's double check that. Constantino's deck is Zeta Drive. And yes, you can see there is only one Drummer Knot and two Chieftains, so purging the Drummer Knot has completely shut down the Ganger Knot combo. Ganger, Chieftain, Drummer Knot. So, we will see how Constantinos responds. Constantinos just called this. The obvious choice here would be to reap for Tezimal. 
Uh, he's fought the Grammar Jammer, but to reap with Tezmo and call Mars to prevent Constantinos from using the board. Unless... Yes, that's exactly what he's done. He's called Mars. And that spider is still tanking all of Constantinos' amber here. He's played something on the end there. That looks like Gub. Yeah, he's played Gub on the end. And he's chosen to sacrifice Life Ward there. So, Romain can't play any creatures on this non-Mars turn he's about to call. So he can't call Mars, and he can't play creatures. So, what does he do? You can see he's got Shadows. He's got Seeker Needle, Evasion Siegel. Okay, so normally... I don't try this at home, kids. Uh, don't, don't generally hold... You don't want Constantinos... If you're in Constantinos' spot, you don't want to be holding cards like Poltergeist. But Constantinos gets lucky here. And he does see the card, Evasion Sigil, that he's been holding Poltergeist for. So he got fortunate there that Romain uh, had the Sigil and that he chose to play the Sigil in a position where Constantinos is not... He's not going to have to hold Poltergeist in his hand for very long. I would expect that he called this here. So Romain is telling is the judge that he. So this is an interesting situation. So Romain is accidentally drawn. Too many cards. Remain is not conceding there. He's shaking Constantinos' hand as a sign of good sportsmanship because Remain has drawn one too many cards, and rather than follow the original or the the baseline rule, the ba rather than rather than follow the baseline rule, which is that if both players cannot agree where the extra card came from. Um, I'm going to mute this for a second because they're talking and I can't. So rather than rather than follow the baseline rule is if you draw an extra card, one too many cards in Keyforge, you show your hand to the opponent. The opponent picks a card out of your hand and shuffles it into the library. But if both players agree as to which card was the extra card that was drawn, which is what happened there, then um, they then they're able to just return that card to top of deck. Which is what happened there. Basically, Constantinos agreed to believe Roman, or he actually saw the card that was drawn to put into top of deck. Um, there's likely to be an ongoing controversy, not about these two players, but about that rule in general. Um, that's one of the more controversial rules, in my opinion, in the new um, rules limit. It allows, and again, I'm not saying that this is what's happening here, but it allows for manipulation of, of the game state by players um, who are trying to take advantage of other players. Once again, not claiming that's what happened here. But that is an interesting discussion point for the future. At any rate, that's what happened. Constantinos has gone back to Mars, called, uh, excuse me, back to Dis, called Mars with Tesmol, presumably, is poltergeisting the sigil, putting all the amber, all of the amber on Ether Spider. Okay. So Remain is calling shadows. He's seeker needled. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So he's called Shadows. He's played Seeker Needle. He's attacked Tezmal. Um, pawn, sorry, Pawn sacrificed into Tezmal. And, um... And here we are. He's uh, using Incubation Chamber and um, Archiving Mind Warper. So Constantinos is in a bit of a spot here uh, with his Grump Buggy on board and Ether Spider capturing all of that Amber. He has to find a way to get to the Spider. Remain is in check, even through the Grump Buggy. So Konstantinov is going to play Pile of Skulls and one other artifact that I did not see. Flamethrower. Thank you. So that was Flamethrower down there, and then he's using Gauntlet... To swing in and kill a Mars creature. Reaping with Chieftain. Using Pile of Skulls to capture one on Chieftain. Because there was a creature killed last turn, which barely takes... Uh, well, a little more than barely, now that he's added more 8 power creatures to the board. But he's taken uh, Roman off check. We're at 10 minutes here. This clock is very real in this round because of the Grump Buggy effects. There's, it's very, very possible this game will go to time. So both players are playing reasonably fast to try to avoid that possibility. Um, in other news, I just got word from our uh, man on the ground. And when I say R, I mean my teammate and team sass, Dunkuro, who is in this tournament is in the top 16, is trying to become the first two-time Vault Tour champion in the world um, on his deck, Admiral Inslang, the Pink Fraud. And I just got word that he has won, and he is in the top eight, and he is going to be playing Jakku. And there's a one-in-four shot that that march match will be on stream next round, so we'll see. But Dunkuro is into the top eight, so he has three more games for a potential re repeat title. Uh, and I will fully admit to all the bias in favor of him as he is my friend and teammate. But we will come back to that issue. Meanwhile, at the table here, there's there's some conversation as to where the Amber should be um, on the Aether Spider. Remain playing Ammonia Clouds, voluntarily putting damage on his Aether Spider, which is interesting, but he does kill the majority of things on Constantinos' board. So it's probably worth the trade-off, but it's certainly certainly um, putting him in danger of having that spider killed. He's going to drop down Blipip, and... not quite sure what that is. Remain... Uh, sorry, Constantinos is called Logos... Calling Library of Babel. That was a Mind Warper, sorry, in the end there. He's drawn a card. He's played Igor. He's pulled three cards. His options look like Entropic Swirl, Not Finished With You, and Kalfine. He's taken Entropic Swirl because he's going to be able to play that. He just looked at the spider, so I think he's going to be able to Entropic the spider away. He's Wild Wormhold into a Lab Work. He's going to lab work, uh, he's going to archive key to disk, and he's played Entropic on the Mind Warper. It's not on the spider, which is interesting. Um, I would think he would want to get as far, as close to the spider, or hit that as quickly as he can, but for whatever reason he's chosen not to, so that's fine. Um, I don't know why playing Sloppy Lab Work for the Amber to maximize Oh, 
Oh, okay. So, all of the stuff on board. So, he's got an obelisk trigger and a grumpy trigger on the Brobnar creature. And then he's got uh, the, the mechanic, the Titan mechanic, has both a plus for the grump buggy and a minus key cost for the printed feature of the card. So, Roman has gotten his second key here. And this is real interesting now. He's playing Succubus, Pit Demon, Charette, Schuler, and the Bobble. And you have to wonder here if Constantinos has taken too long to get rid of this Aether Spider. He has to do it very quickly. Gonna use flamethrower. Uh, he's playing Brobnar. So he's used a gauntlet to throw the Titan Mechanic into the Dominator, playing, use, activating Flamethrower on the Titan Mechanic. And then he's used his other Ganger Chieftain to kill the Dominator with Igor. And I would presume we're going to see him fight that 8-power creature into the Spider right now. I would think, but I'm not positive. He killed the Dominator. I mean, you have, you have to kill the spider here, don't you? I mean, that seems to be the play. You can't wait any longer. He does not kill the spider. So you have to wonder, what is he doing? Why would he not kill the spider? So I'm going to look at his deck and see if I can get any indication as to what he's doing. So my, my only thought was that maybe he's waiting until he specifically has a key cheat. But he does not have any key cheats, so I don't know what he's doing. Um, maybe we can get some some indication. Okay, so Grogans is now dead. So now he doesn't have a creature to swing into the spider with. And Remain is pushing towards key three. There's no evasion sigil in play. Maybe Constantinos forgot that Grogans would not take damage from the spider because the spider doesn't deal damage when it's attacking. So he's chosen to play the scrapper and kill the spider this way. I'm not sure why he didn't do this last turn, but he has finally killed the spider. The spider is dead. Long live the spider. He's taken all of the amber. He's played Flamethrower. Right, and so the Scrapper should not have died. The judges are realizing that. So, Constantinos forgot that. That, to me, indicates there's a strong likelihood that was the reason. Even if even if he had to sacrifice Grogans for the Spider last turn, though, he should have probably done that, unless there's something I'm missing. Um, but, nonetheless, better late than never... And Constantinos has killed the e killed the spider. And remain, it's not likely going to have any answers here. Constantinos got very lucky. That Remain did not have a push last turn to put himself in check. Because Constantinos has very few answers. He 
He's trying whatever he can do. So remains doing everything he can as a Hail Mary, but he's looking over, he's confirming he has no other plays. <laughs> yes, he's scooping, and that is it. Constantinos is on to the round of eight.